So I had a totally different video planned. But uh, then the Super Mario 3D All-Stars news continues. And this is, uh, I, I would say, somewhat negative news, depending on how you look at it. Uh, you guys have seen the headline by now. But hey, you know what? Despite that, we're still giving away three copies of this game through a Gleam.io link down in the description. We also have another giveaway for a Switch Lite and two games of choice for second place winners. Laundry list of ways to enter down in the description as well. The primary ones being subscribed to the channel, hit the bell icon. Uh, you also get 15 extra entries into every giveaway we do by joining our Patreon at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime for as little as $1 a month. All right, enough of that. Let's talk about what's happening here. So Oatmeal Dome over on Twitter. For those who don't know who Oatmeal Dome is, uh, he is in the uh, hacking community, right? He advertises himself as a Switch, iOS, Mac OS tinkerer covering data mines, leaks, rumors, Nintendo industry news, and more. That's kind of what uh, what, what, what he does. Um, he, he's just firmly planted in the uh, hacking community amongst all those devices. Now, I want to note before I talk about this that the hacking community isn't always a bad Thing. I know I, I'm, I'm really against game leaks. Um, I don't like when, uh, you know, a ROM leaks of, uh, of a, a game before it comes out and then everyone's playing it, you know, illegally. Uh, I, I hate that. Okay. I, I think that's just a slap in the face to the developers. Uh, also, it only happens because somebody who has a copy of the game leaked it. And sometimes this comes from media members. Other times it comes from retailers that, you know, illegally sold the game early. In fact, I know there's actually been some Walmarts in the United States that have sold some copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars already. Um, you could try your luck and see if they're willing to do it if you in your area. But uh, I don't really care if you do it and get it. I care that you don't leak it to the Internet. But all games end up on the Internet eventually, especially once launch day comes. And Super Mario 3D All-Stars is no different. Uh, according to Omeo Dome, I got, I got his tweets on screen here. So Super Mario 3D All-Stars has been leaked onto the internet. Now, uh, again, hate leaks. I hate when games leak like this, but we do learn some interesting information, and that's what we're going to go over today. All the games are apparently emulated. Galaxy and Sunshine run under a Wii and GameCube emulator named Haggy, possibly made by Nerd, Nintendo of Europe division. Mario 64 is running under an N64 emulator, but they can't tell which emulator it is. It's some new emulator, obviously, that uh, they've never seen before. Galaxy, in particular, is actually extremely interesting because they recompiled the original code to run natively on the Switch CPU. So those, those A57s at work or whatever, um, those ARM57s. Uh, <laughs> but everything else, the GPU and audio, is running in an emulator. So it's, it's, it's kind of weird, like, you know, the brux of, of the game is running natively on the system, but then, you know, the actual visuals are in an emulator. It's, 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 it's kind of interesting. Uh, they call it a, a neat little trick. Um, about the N64 emulator, uh, the Shindoku Pack uh, ROM is used. So, like, we're, we're talking about, you know, this emulator that we can't really tell what it is. Uh, so, it's a ROM. There, there is a ROM. Uh, so, if you're wondering which version of the game it is, it is the Sh Sh Shindu Pack ROM. Um, the texture code and translation patches are all applied on the fly. So uh, the first-person camera has inverted controls versus the original uh, for some reason. But, yeah, they're, they're literally, like, <laughs> it uses the Vulkan API, too. That's that, that that's the strange thing about that. The Vulkan API is being used for Mario 64? Why? Um, interestingly, the code patches are done through Lua. Uh, the emulator takes over execution upon after reaching a certain PC process and transfers control to the Lua script. Also, whoever made the emulator configuration file made a typo. They spelled the word canon as canoe. <laughs> Hack the canoe up the up down rivers. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. You gotta love when those typos make it into code. Um, I doubt it breaks anything in the game. It's just a, it's just kind of a funny thing, especially where the code's written. It's not a piece of code that runs as a script. So, um, other minor tidbits: uh, the project code name potentially is Stardust. It is located in the files. Uh, they also might be a sub code name for Galaxy called Shigeru. Uh, you would assume that's a reference to Shigeru Miyamoto. Uh, the menu that lets you choose games is made with Lunchpack. For those who don't know. Munchpack's actually an engine, an internal engine at Nintendo. Uh, he mentioned it's used by Splatoon, Mario Maker, Animal Crossing. It is. Splatoon 2, Mario Maker 2, and Animal Crossing New Horizons uses it as well. Um, it is 
uh, one of one of several internal engines that Nintendo has. Uh, I, I can't remember what the code name is for the Breath of the Wild engine because they, they custom built that one from the ground up, and I, I still can't remember what it is. Nintendo is um, an interesting company. They're, they're one of those uh, game makers that make their own game engines. Um, you know, they, they make a, a, quite a few of them. Uh, they don't make, they're not like Ubisoft or EA where they make, like, EA's got like Frostbite and we got Snowdrop with Ubisoft and they like take that, that engine and try to apply it to everything. Although I think EA, uh, sorry, Ubisoft, I think is still using some of the, the Anvil engine for some games, but it's interesting, uh, that Nintendo does that because there are other companies that just literally use like outsourced engines. Uh, Nintendo has been dabbling with Unreal Engine 4, so you can see that apply to more games but that's got nothing to do with this one lunch pack is how the menu is done but i i think what's interesting is that the games are emulated now i had i had a sneaking suspicion this was the case when they announced it because i mentioned uh one of the maybe the most disappointing thing uh when when this pack was announced was just how little work it seemed went into it in comparison to pretty much all the other old games that have come back. You know, we got the Crash Bandicoot, we've got the Spyro Trilogy. Uh, we, we've had all these other games come back, and we just have seen much better remasters or, or remakes, if you want to call Final Fantasy VII, you know, is maybe at the top of that list. Uh, we've seen Nintendo even do better with these games and they've brought them to platforms like the nintendo 3ds i mean that's like, like let's forget what activision and other companies are doing square enix let's just look at what nintendo's done ocarina of time brought over to the 3ds completely redid the visual style added some new features you know majora's mask brought to the 3ds completely redid the visual style literally added new content into the game fishing is now in majora's mask in the 3d version was not in the original a whole new area right you know they brought mario 64 i think back in the day over to the ds added a few new features it, it's weird to me that nintendo has brought these games over to other platforms and, and simply straight up added features i mean this isn't nintendo per se but even hyrule warriors like the legends version was brought over all new content new features like nintendo has done you know or been part of these jobs where they take their old games, they bring them to new platforms, especially like the, the N64 and up uh, home console games. And when they do it, they, they tend to do more with these games. I mean, even when you look at, you know, you know, 3D World, right? Super Mario 3D World that we're getting next February, they added new content. They potentially tweak the game because it looks like it even runs faster. Like, like you literally move faster in the game, not like a faster frame rate, but like the speed of the characters is faster. These tweaks don't appear to be present here. It looks like it's just an emulator, you know, you know, a, a few emulators, just running these games with texture packs, like HD texture packs. That's what it looks like. Um, and and it, it's been kind of my, my one criticism of Super Mario 3D All-Stars from Inception was that, not really Inception, but I, I guess from, from you know, because it's been, we've been, conceptualizing this you know for a while since the rumors came out back in like march but i it, it's baffling to me that uh nintendo didn't put more effort into these games now the thing is i'm still going to buy them and my reasons for buying the, this this collection pack might be different than than other people's reasons because i do believe that nintendo should do more but they're not going to obviously this is what we get they're not going to do more and millions upon millions of people are perfectly fine with that the reason i'm fine with it is because um Super Mario Sunshine, to buy it on like the second-hand market, it's like over 100 bucks. Uh, it's one of the harder-to-get-more-expensive-GameCube games, and I don't have it. <laughs> I, I played a little bit of it as a kid, but I don't actually have the game. So I really want to revisit it, and I could technically do it illegally. I could just get a ROM, but I don't believe in... Uh, the emulation ROM crowd when it comes to just playing games illegally. Now, I believe if you own a game, you uh, you know burn burn your own game game from your cartridge or disc to your computer, and then you want to do some fun things with it. Great, you know you want to add HD texture packs. You want to you know play Breath of the Wild in 4K 60 FPS on your PC with a 2080 Ti or whatever. That's fine. You know do do that stuff. You know, insert Shrek into the game. Like that's cool. But do whatever you want with your own legal copy of the game. But I don't believe in these people that just download these ROMs and just never buy the games or like, you know, even download the ROMs, you know, and can't find their copy of the game. They're just lazy and just, you know, what? Like, I don't 
I, I realize it, it's harder uh, for certain consoles and games to, to get them, you know, dumped onto your computer in a usable form. But you know what? I, I, I just don't like the emulation crowd, and I don't own Super Mario Sunshine, so I'm not going to go download it and play it illegally on my PC. It's just not something I'm interested in. So that's the primary reason that with the price of it on the secondhand market that this is worth it to me. And obviously you add on that I don't have to do any modifications to it. I don't have to install any mods. It just will be in widescreen at 1080p. Uh, that's great. And then I get the other games along with it. Um, there's also obviously the collector in me. I'm obviously a Nintendo collector. You guys have seen some videos where I've been on camera uh, and you'll see you know, a gaming collection of stuff behind me. You guys know I like collecting things. So... Obviously, there is the fact that this is a limited time release. As much as I don't like that Nintendo's made it a limited time release, um, we can't help but uh, notice that despite being a limited time release, that just makes it a more collectible game. It's just a more collectible collection. That 35th anniversary uh, notations on it, the 3D All-Stars uh, you know, logo, it's a collectible now. I owned Mario All-Stars back in the Dance Nest. So I might as well own the 3D version. So as much as I'm against these practices, you can call me a hypocrite for still buying the game. I just, I, I can't help it because I have other reasons that I was going to buy this game anyways. You know, I, I always was going to buy this no matter what Nintendo did with it. It's just, I would appreciate a little bit more effort than just literally emulating the games and just running HD texture packs basically. And they're using all the original code. I mean, it's just, it's fine. It's cool. D this shouldn't kill your hype for 3D All-Stars. I think I actually have one more uh, kind of negative story about 3D All-Stars today. It feels weird. We go from positive stories to negative. But you know what? That's just the way things ebb and flow, you know? You know, I got I got three, four videos coming for you today. So there'll be something positive in there somewhere, I'm sure. But uh, anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll catch you in the next video.